Hey guys, it's Lexi and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. It's been a hot minute since I've posted. I don't even remember. I think it was like a book haul. Life has just been really going at me lately and my current addiction to reading has been probably my saving grace. So today's plans, let's see. It's currently 1.11. I don't know how to, I'll show it upside down. I don't feel like breaking my wrist in half. But Alan just went to work, he's there all day. So I have the apartment to myself and I already deep cleaned yesterday. So now I'm like primed and ready to relax. I do have like four ripe bananas. So I kinda wanna go to the store to get supplies to make banana bread. Never made it before, we'll see where we get. But currently I'm reading the last book of the Shatter Me series. This is Imagine Me. We're like, got about this chunk left. So almost halfway there. I plan on reading this today. And then I've also been back in my bracelet making phase. I have this, this, that. We're not done yet. This, and then this one. So I've been making bracelets to hand out for Christmas to my friends because why not? Who doesn't love a good friendship bracelet? So I might spend some time today dealing with that and making a couple, but this is gonna be a much needed reset before I get back in my school zone. So I'm gonna go crack open this book and maybe a Dr. Pepper if I have any left. I've been reading for a little bit. I do have a bit of a cold right now, so I have been chugging that water like no other. Um, but I think I need a quick snack, so I'm gonna go rummage. Please tell me you remember these. One of my current snacks like that I've been obsessed with is the Scooby Snacks, the gummies specifically. This should hold me over for about five minutes. I don't know how many of you watching had a friendship bracelet making phase, but when I did, Masha Knott on YouTube was like my go-to. I would watch her videos religiously. So my current setup, I'm gonna watch a video. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do. It's... I'm gonna pick out one of these videos and watch and make a bracelet because I have ADHD, so I can't really do anything for too long at one time. Unless I'm like really focused, I'm not gonna read consistently. I could never do those 24 hour reading challenges. No. Okay, so I've gotten to a point where I have like the pattern memorized, so I can honestly just work at this for a while. I cannot get a good camera angle for the life of me, and this is like, it's taped onto my little thingamajiggy, but I have to like sit a certain way to make sure I'm not like yoinking this out of my lap. So I'm gonna work on this for a little bit and then I'll check in with y'all when I'm like halfway done. It'll probably take me like 30 minutes, so I'll probably like put on the Fosters or something. But shout out Masha Knotts because Without her, this would have taken so much longer. And when I follow the patterns without watching an actual video, I like don't do it as well. I don't know how to explain it. This is my folder with a bunch of the bracelets that I've made. This isn't all of them. They're kind of scattered in my little supply things. Okay, I've made this same bracelet like twice now because I just don't like the colors. It's like really loose. It's kind of, well, for one, it's too small and it's also really loose. And then I made another one, same pattern and everything. And it's like really big and bulky. I don't know what I keep doing differently. This one's turning out perfect. So I have high hopes. It's 
It's been about 30 minutes now, like exactly, and I've gotten that far, which I think is impressive, but I really want to try and make banana bread with the bananas that I have while it's still light outside. So I think I'm going to head to the dollar store, which is right next door, and I'm probably not going to bring my camera because not much to show. So I'll see y'all when I get back with the supplies, and then I'm going to try and make some banana bread. Chocolate. Banana chocolate chip banana bread. I am back from Dollar General. The AC is really kicking right now, but I don't want to turn it off, so just ignore the background. But you get a haul now. They did not have baking powder, but I looked up that you can like do extra baking soda and some lemon juice or vinegar to like compensate. So we're gonna try that. But I got my nine by five inch bread pan because I didn't have one. And then I have like the cinnamon toast crunch cinnamon, but it said ground cinnamon and I feel like there's a difference. So I got ground cinnamon. Pretty much all of this is gonna be generic, like generic brand. Then I got me some granulated sugar. Um, I only need like a cup or so, so I wasn't gonna get a whole big thing of it because I really don't bake that often. Someone was walking by, sorry. I have all-purpose flour, but I read that it goes bad like five to eight months, and I think I got it over a year ago. So I got more all-purpose flour. And then, of course, I got the bougie one because I want my chocolate to taste good. Some semi-sweet chocolate morsels. Just because I want to paint my nails for Christmas, I got myself some bright red nail polish. Why not? The setup for this is probably going to take a hot minute, so I think I'm going to do some more bracelet making for a little bit, and then probably later in the evening I'll start on the bread because right now I want to be lazy. Again. <laughs> Okay, so I realize the lighting in the kitchen is really crappy, but I have nowhere else to put my camera. It's literally in the cabinet. The door is like open. But I'm going to prep. I have four really ripe bananas. I think I only need three. So, oh, well that one's a no-no. Oh God. Okay, perfect. I have three because one just fell off. So anyways, I'm going to mash up three of these and then kind of get all my ingredients together and then start mixing and baking. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any of this on camera because the angles are a little awkward. There's my three bananas now. I'm just going to take a fork and get to mashing. Okay, this will be more convenient when I use both hands, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, it was way too messy to show all the steps, but I mixed in my bananas and cinnamon and then I added it to this bowl with like the butter, sugar, and the eggs. And then I'm supposed to add the dry to the wet, but this bowl is not big enough. This is barely big enough, so I'm just gonna add them that way. It'll be fine. And then I get to fold in the chocolate chips, pour it in the pan, and we'll be set. Making banana chocolate muffin, I mean, bread mix is no joke. I think I've been in here for, I don't know, 40 minutes, but the batter, it's complete. I left all the ingredients out, so I knew what I used, so I didn't use it again, you know? But the oven is preheating. And now I just need to pour it in the pan. I probably am going to grease it with like butter spray. I'm going to grease it, load it up, and then come back in a little over an hour and hopefully it'll be ready. Finally, um, the banana bread is in the oven. And I have my timer set. So about an hour from now it should be ready. I put it in for five minutes less because I'm really worried about it burning. And then I cleaned up most of the dishes, but I'll come back to this later because that's not very relaxing and this is supposed to be a relaxing day. I'm gonna go sit down and I'm gonna read a little bit while it's still light outside so I can use like the natural light through the big window, you know? The sun is setting like really fast right now, but it's time to take another pause on reading because I think I want to finish this bracelet, this episode of the Fosters. My game plan actually is to finish reading once the banana bread is done. So like 30 more minutes or so. I'm I'm not in a reading mood right now. I'm in a I'm in like a fidgety mood, so it's bracelet time. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy. 
so a few things just happened. I lost all my natural light, which means I can't really film any more aesthetic videos of me really doing anything, but I did finish the bracelet. I think it's super cute. They wanted, my friends that wanted it said they wanted like a forest green color and black, which I'm realizing this is giving, I don't know, like an anime show I can't think of right now. But the bread's coming out of the oven, so I'm gonna go check it real quick and I'll be right back. It smells amazing. It might be, the edges are a little overdone. I made that. Isn't that amazing? It has to cool for like 10 minutes and then I'm literally gonna crack into it immediately. I'm so excited to try this. But for now, I'm gonna let that cool and we're gonna go over here. My camera's literally about to die. I have no sunlight. I don't even know why I opened the blinds. It's not like it's letting any more light in. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. It's been a very cozy past few weeks, so I just wanted to share what my life has been like and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.